Welcome back to the Shame Plays Let's Play series of Serpent in the Staglands. Um, if you liked the video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, please do. I'd appreciate it very much. That helps me a lot. Okay, so we're hunting for a bounty up in Lumen Fortin, which is where we started the game. Um, let's see if I can remember what the bounty is. It's like somebody's in an old cellar or something like that. A decree of the Constable of Lumen Targ. Uh, citizens are warned to not travel at night on the path to Lumen Fortin. For raiders have assaulted two caravans traveling to the temple in the dark. Arbiters have been instructed to remain behind town walls to protect Lumen Targ, and until additional arbiters can be deployed, we will wait to deal with this threat properly. Okay. Uh, any valiant citizen to bring the head of their leader, rumored to be the previously incarcerated thief Badgana, Badgana, will be handsomely rewarded and be given a toast in the halls of Lumen Fortin. Nikolai is sure to bless any who help to deter a threat so close to the temple. Return with proof for reward. Um, I thought I read something about him being in a some kind of old... Uh, huh, that's weird. I, th I could have swore I read something about somebody being in an old cellar or something like that weird is it nighttime I guess it's nighttime this feels like it's nighttime so maybe we'll get assaulted on the way yeah I figured what I want to do now is collect this bounty if I can assuming that I can Meet the challenge. Hello, duck. And then head on over to some of these other cities to the east we haven't visited yet. I thought I, for some reason I could have swore I read something about a an old cellar. I don't know. I'm actually just kind of aimlessly wandering the area. But it definitely sounds like it's nighttime. And the way that bounty's written, this may have to be a, a nighttime quest. Not guaranteed. Could just be flavor saying, you know, they're attacking at night, but. That old fairy ring that I got that fairy out of. You have to cast parasitic orb on them, which I would have never figured out probably without reading online. The guys are starting to get really cool looking equipment. I suspect I'm going to be more advanced than some people are when they go to the, I think like Corum and there's a couple other cities that, that you can go to and recruit party members. Um, I'm suspect I'm going to be a little bit more advanced than most people are when they first hit there because I kind of shot off to the west and I've already done the Hallowed Grove and stuff like that. But it's fairly open-ended and there's nothing that says that you have to go to Quorum first. Where did I... Did somebody mention something to me about an old cellar? I just... I feel like... That I read something that said they had taken up... They were staying in an, in an old cellar. I don't know. Maybe, maybe my... Sleep-deprived brain just... Made it up. So Lumen Fortin... I love how the, the bounty said that the, the favor of Nikolai will be on you for doing this bounty, and, and basically I'm Nikolai, you know. And I'm running around, barely being able to keep myself alive. Nice little bit of 
Uh, there's probably intentional irony on, on their part. Okay, so here I am in Lumen. Not Lumen Tour. I'm actually in the temple. I need to go. Uh, where? See if I can remember where this is. I need to go back to my portal room and leave a couple things there. Stuff that I'm pretty sure is in game. That way I can free up an inventory slot or two. Here we go. Yeah, so there's these books that you can write in. And I'm going to, right up here where it's super easy to find, I'm going to drop, I got this vial of rune blood, which I'm pretty sh pretty sure is um, an end game thing. I didn't, I didn't mean to read up on it, but I happened to see somebody mentioning it. And I think, what else can I leave here? Yeah, the native symbols I don't need anymore, I don't think. Okay, I'm going to leave these things. That'll help free out a couple of slots. As long as I'm here, these books here, you can draw in them with your own blood and if you happen to dry the right, right symbol it'll give you some of the a vial of that rune blood which evidently is for end game and I just happened in one of them I drew a circle for the moon um, because I'm thinking hey I'm the moon god and it just happened to pop me out I, I just happened to stumble on that that was one of the runes that I had to draw at the end of the end of the book so, but I guess there's clues later that tell you what to draw. The dudes are looking really cool. A couple of them got that Arbiter armor that we got on the last bounty for taking out a couple of deserter Arbiters. All right, so where are these guys at? It says they're attacking people on the road. I don't know how far I can go over here. Now, I remember clearing this out one time. I think I cleared, yeah, I cleared that out. I'm pretty sure I cleared that house out one time. Had bandits. I don't remember getting a head or anything like that from these guys. Oh, there's a bandit. Maybe I didn't take these guys out. I thought I did. Well, there's several bandits. I'm just going to... I'm going to do what I normally don't do in this game. I'm just going to charge in. Uh, but I'm going to have her throw her polymorph into wolf spell. I'm going to charge in. I don't normally do that in this game because a full frontal assaults usually aren't the way to go. But let's see what happens. I thought I'd cleared this area out. I guess I didn't. I remember finding it before. That yeah, took that guy out quick. Yeah, I've definitely advanced in this game. <laughs> 
Because the joke with this game is that at the beginning of a game, a fox can take you out. Uh, and it really can. I mean, a fox literally can defeat, you know, an ill-tempered badger can take you out at the beginning of this game. Uh, straight edge, canvas. I don't know that I need any of this stuff. Emeralds, I'll take the emeralds. And I'll take the pack of bolts. Uh, and I'll take the emeralds. But it's, they said they went up. Oh, here we go. Who's this? Bogdana. There he is. Uh, as you enter, scuffles of feet and shouts of merriment suddenly come to a halt. And as you turn, you find yourself in the company of several bandits, all with a tankard of mead in hand except one. Terra Torith woman, Terra Torith woman, who stands slightly apart with a glance. Within a glance, she has sized you up, and judging by the sneer in her face, she doesn't seem impressed. Trapped with nowhere to turn, uh, Trallon steps forward. Oh, well done, a brave hero coming to scourge the Temple of the Mean Bandits. I'm shaking in my wee booties. You may scoff, but you'll die nonetheless. I'm not a hero, just a traveler with a hunger for emeralds. You should be shaking, wench. Those boots will fill with blood before I'm done with you. Hmm. You should be shaking, wench. Bravo, bravo, a brave little hero with a saucy tongue. Mayhap I'll spare you, and you can keep my men entertained with your droll jokes. How are your juggling skills? Can you tumble? Rhyme? I'll hear no more out of you, villain. Draw your sword. All right, let's take let's take this chick out. Let's see how tough she is. Now she's on El Rick. So I need to get Elric out of the... I don't want her on him. She's bruised. Alright, everybody. Fight! She's going down. Yeah. Well, you know, she probably, at the beginning of the game, was probably super tough. I'll give her that, but... Bandit leader's head. That's what I want. Uh, let's see if I want anything else. I have to admit, it feels really good to 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 be tough in this game. Because <laughs> man, it takes a long time to get to this point. All right, let's get some healing going. I mean, it takes a really long time to get to this point to where you feel like that, you know, you're not running from um, every little thing. I mean, literally, the joke, go look it up if you haven't researched this game. The complaint, and, and people have even said the game was broken, which I disagree with. It just had a hard difficulty at the very beginning that, I mean, you know, you could be running around and you say, oh, it's a fox, and, and a fox could start wiping your party out. Did you, you just started extremely weak and vulnerable. But there is a an immense sense of satisfaction to getting to this point in the game and sticking it through. It's, it's very, you know, it, it is a rewarding game if you stick it through. And I'm not even all the way done with it, you know. Uh, there was a, if you haven't watched any other videos, the, go watch the Hallowed Grove stuff. That, that that was very tricky puzzles. And I figured most of it out myself, but after spending hours and hours, I only got a little help online. But, you know, I really tried to, to figure it out on my own, and I, and I did figure out a lot of it on my own. All right. I need to do some shopping, too. I really need some food. I don't, I don't really like how the healing potions work in this game. They, they heal you over time. I would much rather just have straight healing, which is kind of what food does in this game. I've talked to him before. Let's see if my 
vendors have anything. What ho, stranger? Sure thing. Let me take a look. I uh, don't need any of this. He's got... He's broke. <laughs> so, I can't sell him anything. Yeah, the vendors in this game don't have unlimited uh, money. You can wipe them out. Alright, I need food. He used to have food. I thought. Not much. I'm just so... Biscotti. Yeah, I don't want the Biscotti because it can't stack. And I'm really limited on my inventory. I need to get to another city and find some more vendors. This game definitely does not hold your hand. Okay, he's going to take the head. Got emeralds. That would be ideal. Okay, I, I'm probably not... Oh, I got 220 XP and some emeralds. How many emeralds do I have now? Not bad. Starting to starting to make a little money before I head to the big city. Okay, I don't think I'm going to find any more bounties. Uh, the last time I had to keep looking, but let's see what they got. Continue searching. Yep, okay. So I, I got two bounties from this area. We're going to head out now and go travel some more of the map. You know, every, every game has kind of, at least in my experience, has kind of high points, you know, points where you get kind of tired with the game and then you get kind of revitalized with it. And when I, when I left the Hallowed Grove and started exploring around and then did these last couple of bounties and you know my guides have gotten cool equipment and I'm feeling tougher in the game you know I feel kind of revitalized you know because you always hit that point in the game where you're like oh I gotta play it because I've already invested time into it and I want to finish it and then you hit, you hit other points where you're like man this is great and I'm kind of back on one of those points with the game all right so really should have saved I'm gonna go in here yeah I'm doing this just to save because I can't save from the screen oh well I thought I would huh I had saved and I thought I was going back to the map and then it popped me here so one second true believers okay here we go uh, so we're just going to explore out places we haven't been yet. Cover more of this map. Ambushed. Crud. I hope it's not harvesters. Coven witches. That's new. Okay, so this is different. Looks like we're about to have some spell. This is the first time I've really done a fight against spellcasters. Uh, what do I have here that I can throw that will help? With... I think this like breaks magical defenses and stuff. Hmm. I'm going to throw Fearful Light over here and see if that does anything. I'm going to try to morph you into a fiend. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, okay, so they just slipped her. Okay. Mark 
Cassandra, you were supposed to polymorph into a wolf. There she goes. Okay, so that witch got scared by the fearful light. That's cool. I'll take that. They're throwing this... A lot of parasitic, not parasitic orb, um, festering ooze, I think, which makes people slip. Okay, Roxandra, I need you to get up here and into the fight. I can't quite tell what's going on here. It's, it's gotten kind of crazy. Okay, you are trying to turn somebody in. You're trying to turn this witch into a fiend. You, I went on that witch. You, I went on that witch. You, I went on that witch. Let's see how this, let's, let's get some stuff going here. Okay, there's one witch dead. Okay, you, let's kill the fearful light. And I don't know how to, a lot of this stuff I just haven't really fought other uh, magic users so I'm going to hit you with cr crippling ray okay so that's another one dead let's get on this one let's get on this one you know earlier in the game maybe they would have really torn me up but this is because they don't seem to be throwing really nasty spells they're just kind of, uh, they were throwing Festering Ooze, and I can't tell what else. They weren't, yeah, Feverish Haze. Feverish Haze. Fever, yeah, they weren't throwing really nasty stuff. And there's not a lot of direct damage spells in this game anyway to begin with I think I just got a um, direct damage spell actually like at this point which is really late in the game I mean I, th I think I'm over halfway through and there, there's only like maybe one or two spells that could be considered direct damage anyway I've got just real minor amounts of healing to deal with here. All right, what's all? What all do we have here? Potion of minor healing. I think that'll stack. So I'll an edible heart. I definitely want that. Edible heart. Potion of minor healing. Potion of minor healing. Edible heart. Oh, yeah, that's some good healing stuff right there. I can't remember what the Coven Witch Cloaks do, but I'll take a look. I see another potion of minor healing there. I'm not going to buy potions of minor, minor healing right now, but I'll take them for free. Okay, where'd that Coven Witch Cloak go? It might have dropped it. I guess I'm full here too. Oh man, this is crazy. I'm just full on everything. I just kind of wanted to see what the stats were. I have to drop some stuff. What is? I'm going to drop the straight edge. And drop this padded le padded leather armor. Everyone's still healing. You don't have to heal anymore. I'm going to pick up this Coven Witch Cloak. See what it does. Surprisingly warm. Okay, so Trallon, you've got on an Acolyte Cloak. So let's see if this does anything. Not a thing. So let's drop it. Okay. I cannot save in this area. Even though I've won the fight. Okay. 
Maybe you say so. So you get ambushed, and you can't save after you win the ambush. Okay, so there's nothing there. Be nice if they kind of showed you which squares you've already. Remus Farms. Okay. It'd be nice if they, as you go through squares and clear them out, it'd be nice if they colored them in a different one so you know which ones you've been to. As it is, they only mark where you found something. Okay, Remus Farms. Here we go. Let's Remus a Remus! Assuming the Remuses are bad. Which they probably aren't. Farmers are always nice folk, right? They never have hidden secrets. Hidden ancient family secrets. That involve crops and blood. They've got ducks. And chickens. I'm going to say what ho to the chicken just so, so just so that it will ignore me. What ho, chicken? And it ignores me. Hadn't been ignoring my chicken in a while. Had to be done. Right, let's check out the map. Let's check out the map. Oh, what's that? Oh, Lady Remus and Lord Remus. Lady Remus. Farms are owned by ladies and lords. I guess they have farmers working for them. Yes, I will go back and talk to them. I'm just checking out the map. That is all. Just checking out the map. I'm kind of obsessive compulsive like that. Pretty big map. What the heck? A what? Giant spider? Run. Did it see me yet? Never fought one of these. This is new on my list of interesting things. Whoa, that's a weird looking. Oh, there's more than one. You know, have I seen one? That looks kind of familiar with those huge spindly legs. Everybody attack. Let's see what happens. This is purely just to see what happens. Oh, there's a bunch of them. See how tough these guys are. Everybody attack. They are... Are they throwing poison at us? Is that what they're doing? I feel like they're throwing poison at us. Yeah, two poison damage. So they're... Catalina's po poison siphoned away. Okay. They look nasty. But looks like we're... Hanging in there all right. I don't like spiders anyway. And these spiders are just creeping me the heck out. They're like a cross between spiders and Martian tripods. Okay, you're po I think everybody's poisoned. Yeah, everybody is poisoned. Hold on a second. Actually... Get some. I don't know. I wonder if the if the poison over time will go away. Yeah, it eventually goes out of your system because Catalina's has already gone away. So I'm just gonna keep healing until their poison goes away. Okay, so hers has gone away. All right. So I do have some poison antidote. Uh, where is it? Yeah, if if needed, but it will run its course. It appears.
more giant spiders. This is a really big map. Feels big anyway. Lots of giant spiders around Remus Farms. I wonder if that's what they're having trouble with. Four giant spiders. We can take these guys. I'm going to have you wolf out. Man, they just look creepy. They've got like little skull faces. You know, he got, I want to try out, I got some kind of direct damage spell. What was it? Searing Light. I think that's it. I'm going to try it out. I haven't really tried this spell out. Let's make sure everybody's on the same spider here. can't overcome his spell resistance. So I'm just going to have you attack. And you are going to start healing her. moving some healing around looks like Roxandra and Catalina can take care of spiders uh, what is this I don't want this there edible hearts where'd my edible hearts go healing on Trallon before he dies because that would be the end of the game. <laughs> Alright. So everybody's unpoisoned now. Just trying to make sure everybody's healed up. Okay, everybody's healed up. Good. I wonder if that... If they're going to ask me to go clear out the giant spiders on their farms. Because if so, I'll have to say, The deed has been done, my lord and my lady. My lord, my lady. The eight-legged freaks will no longer trouble such important patronage or personages as yourself. I think there were a couple more spiders down south that I missed. Let's get an idea of how this map looks. I know there's some spy. Man, this is a big map. There's some spiders down in here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. 
There were some that I didn't attack. Man, that is a big map. <laughs> wow. All right. Where am I? Where's my guys? Let's go ahead, since we're down here, and clear out this bottom portion. I'm pretty sure there's one more group of spiders down in here. Some, yeah, there's some. Let's get them. Two measly spiders. Who do they think we are? I'm offended. They don't take us more seriously. I think there's just a little bit more over here to try to clear out. And we'll go north. Go north, young man. Giant spiders, ahoy! Everyone's getting poisoned already. these spiders give XP because they sure as heck don't give any loot. No fat loot from the spiders. They're stingy spiders. Icky, long-legged, dead spiders everywhere. La, la, la. La la la. Searching Remus's farms, reaming some spiders. This is a big frickin' map. So far, it looks like they grow. Well, I don't know what they grow. Something yellow. Well, what's this? Treasure of some sort. Bones. Well, I hope I didn't disturb like some ancient ossuary for their family. That would be 
quite rude of me. And these are farm hands or something, settlers. What's all this then? Can I go in here? What's all this? Who's this? Mihel. All right, Mihel, let's talk. Hell, Spicer. You are a Pissarin, are you not? How did you come to work for Lord Remus? A string of bad luck, mostly. Came to the Staglands with my brother, but we were attacked by outlaws soon after arriving. They stole all our emeralds, and my brother died of his wounds. I wandered, frozen, starving, filthy, and penniless, trying to find work, but no one would hire me. So I signed a bond contract with Lord Remus. I'm not a free man, but who really is, Spicer? We all answer to someone or something. Uh, an excellent justification of slavery. Remus must be a fair master to earn such devotion. Where can I find him? Fair enough, I suppose we are all holding to something. If you'll excuse me, I must be on my way. I'm going to say an excellent justification of slavery. He's often outside of his house near the southern entrance, southern entrance of the settlement. I must return to my duties. Farewell. Not walk away. All right. So I'm not gonna go in there. He'll see me stealing if I try to look in that chest. That's not how I'm playing this game. These guys are just workers. It's the map up here. Looks like I finally found the northern border of the map. Can I go this way? I cannot. Oh, gravestones. Headstones, however you want to say it. Monuments. I am not going to disturb the bones. Stone has crumbled beyond readability. Eolanda, may her bones rest as peacefully as her mouth never did. Stone has crumbled beyond readability. Vlad, died in the great fire of 21. May his tormented soul find peace with the carrion god. Stone has crumbled beyond recognition. You know, I haven't seen a barrel in a while that I could destroy and either find goodies or else have oil spill out and slip me up. It's getting about time to finish off the map and go talk to Lord and Lady Remus. I'm hoping they're going to ask me to clear out spiders and give me cash. Cold hard cash or emeralds as the case may be. Cold hard emeralds. Quite the farm you have here, Lord Remus. Quite the farm. Oh, hands off. Okay, so I'm not going to... I only get one, one warning before a fight starts, but I do want to talk to you. Hello, Anka. What ho, Spicer? Tell me, what are you growing? Grains mostly, root vegetables too. I don't know how much of the stag land you've seen, but if anything is going to grow on this God's forsaken land, it'll be right here. Even so, it's like pulling tea to tease crops out of the soil. Uh, you must have a monopoly on the trade then. I wouldn't know. I'm a bond servant to Lord Remus and see not a penny of the profit. I work the fields and in return he feeds and houses me. Uh, can you earn your freedom? My contract says that I'll be free when I can give my lord 3,000 emeralds, but unless shroomers start crapping emeralds. I don't know when such a sum will come my way. Uh, is everyone else working here indentured in such a fashion? It's the fate of many, Spicer. Slavery is illegal, but I don't know that this is much better. you will excuse me. I must return to my duties. Hmm. So, that's the theme of indentured has come up. And, you know, slavery by another name has come up twice in my conversations. I don't know if that's going to be part of what I'm doing 
here or if it's just a point that the developers are trying to make I don't know I'm kind of reinforcing what it's like to live in the staglands I don't know I think I can make a campfire here I'm not sure I haven't found a whole lot of use for resting in this game, other than passing time. Alright, so there's the map. No 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 no, I don't wanna I don't wanna go to the map. And I accidentally talked to the duck. I knew he would ignore me. Such is the fate of all who talk to a duck. Man, this is a map and a half. a map where am I I forget okay Why are there so many bones around here? It's like, does people die? I mean, and then they put their bones in a box and somebody else comes in as the indentured servant? I don't know. No, oh, they're there. I might as well talk to them now because I've explored most of their map. I should probably have helm do it because he has nobility yes yeah, excuse me I'm sorry to bother you I was wondering if there's a merchant nearby you seem busy I'm curious what you're doing I don't know what slums you're raised in but in Saglands is considered rude to barge into one's home and ask personal questions you'll be seeing yourself out now well okay hell stranger I'm Lord Remus master of these farmlands nod as if to an equal Lord Remus well met you're most welcome my home and my lands. Please, come and sample my hospitality. Can I offer you a pint of mead? Uh, indeed, my travels have made me thirsty. Excellent. Now, friend, what brings you to these parts? Uh, I am seeking exotic spices to buy and sell, though I do not expect to find any here. I am seeking information. I cannot disclose why, but I was curious if you had heard of anything odd of late amongst the lords. All is quiet in Orf's Bridge, but I would venture to say that times are rather odd indeed for the Lorens out west. The Councillor of Fuldea, Mayor, is so sick he sees no one. And in Lev, of course, all the nobles and the Councillors fled or were captured and sold to slavery by the Northern Raiders. They say the General of the Army, Maya, an upstart that killed, threatened, and bedded her way up the ranks, is holding the burnt remains of the district together. Huh. Any news of the East? The east is quiet enough. I will keep my, keep my ears open, though. Um, and how are your fear, affairs here? What can you tell me of this area? We do not have to deal with the travesties of war here, but we are having a pesky spider problem that I do not have the manpower to deal with. The only bright spot of their inf infestation is their glands produce the most wonderful spice. I'll sell it to you if you're interested. 75 emeralds. Yeah, I'll buy that. Good doing business with you, as you said. Talk to him again. Okay, so I can't really... Let me try to talk to Lady Remus again. Sorry to bother you. I was wondering if there's an archer nearby. None of these backwater spicer. You'll have to visit the console. Very well. I don't know where the console is. I, you know, I had... I had... El Rick talked to them because he's got points in nobility. I don't know if that made a difference or not. So I got some kind of spice here. That was what did I get? Uh, there I go. Did it 
drop on the ground because my inventory is full. I wonder if it doesn't go into my inventory. What the, what the heck? Maybe it's just some sort of quest item that doesn't actually go on my inventory. Uh, I actually don't care about the mead. Okay, here it is. their stuff. I'm just seeing them. If I try to look at their stuff, they're going to yell at me. So. I can't fight what is all these bones. That was weird, all these bones around here. So, uh, he's not going to pay me for fighting the spiders, even though I killed a bunch of them for him. Uh, but it did give me... I was able to get that vial of unique spice, which as a spicer may, may help me at some point. Uh, let's see what's going on. I think, really, I've pretty much done this map. I guess I can go... Yeah, I'm not going to... I don't think there's much else. I may be missing something, but I don't think so. I'm going to go ahead and move on. Da, 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 da. Try to find another location and then save the game there. We're getting close to an hour for the video. Save just in case we get ambushed. And off we go. Yep, and there's an ambush. Hungry group of bandits. All right, got some bandits here. I'm going to have her polymorph because when she turns into a wolf, she gets kind of nasty. And I'm just going to have everybody else kind of go in and fight. We'll see what happens here. You wolf lady, get over there. I'm going to try searing light again. up on here on the same person. Did he resist my... Ah, oh, it's doing magic damage to him. Not a whole lot. But a little bit first strike magic damage we've done in this game. Alright, I'm going to turn that off because it's not doing that much damage <laughs> to be quite honest. Kind of need to finally do some magic damage, but uh, you know, that's one, one little trickling point of damage going in is not that big of a deal. And these bandits are dropping like flies. They're dropping like bandits. Alright, let's see what they dropped. I see some emeralds, which I want. I want those bolts. I want the emeralds. I want the emeralds. I want the bolts. Yeah, I think it's dropping them because my inventory is full. I have got to do some selling. All right. Oh, everybody leveled up. What the heck do you know? Well, everybody except Wilhelm leveled up. Let's get some healing going on. I 
know if I want to, do I want to level up now? I was, I was trying to bring this video to a close. Let me see if I can get somewhere. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? I don't even remember where I was headed. I think I was headed down here. There's nothing. What's down here? Nothing. Corum! That's actually where I wanted to go. I didn't know exactly where it was at, but I knew it was one of the major cities. So this will be a good spot to finish. Catalina says, great, more lemmings. I'd rather face a pack of wolves than these boiled brain simpletons. Uh, I can say that's rich coming someone who's the wits of a blunt axe. It's not my favorite either, but it is necessary. We'll leave soon enough. I'll say it's not my favorite either. Okay. So I've got some real arbiters up here. I'm going to go ahead and level up so I don't forget because I lost my little level up icon. So we're going to do that. Uh, Emil, huh? A young Verichov man is standing at the gate, intensely searching the face and figure of every visitor that enters the city. Every visitor, he sees you, and a spark of recognition lights in his eyes. With a quick step, he walks towards you, and Trallon steps forward. Hell, friend, I've been waiting many days looking for one described like you. I have news that is urgent and could not risk missing you as you enter the town. I am well. I am, well, was the messenger of Arlene, and have tidings that I think you must hear. Uh, I am, well, was the messenger of Arlene. I hope that doesn't mean that Arlene's dead. He was my little ally right at the beginning. One of the few people on my side out there. Say what tidings? The worst of the news that Arlene has, well, disappeared. I mean, he's dead. I can't believe it, but I saw his body, and it was him. I would know him anywhere. Dead? What happened? He left one night, said he'd be visiting the shipping guild. I think he believed someone there could assist him on his business. He never confided in me, so I know not what he was about. But the next morning, he was not back, nor the next night. Finally, I snuck into the shipping yards, and I saw his lifeless body stuffed against a wall. Huh. i got to make notes of this. And I said, that's terrible. He says, wounds were clearly those of a dagger. So I ran before I could look closely. I did not want to meet the same end, for I knew he would wish me to look for you and tell you the news if he fell. I am sorry to be the bearer of such tidings and no real help at all in your business. I'm glad you have found me. I will seek what answers I can. I wish you luck. I'll be leaving back to the temple now. Farewell, friend. All right, well, that's terrible. Like, Erlaine was the only guy who was really kind of on my side. All right, let's level up, and then we'll call this a video, because I really wanted to end it right before this. I would have rather done all this exposition at the beginning of next video, but that is how the cookie crumbles. All right, character. You have two stat points and two skill points. What have I been? I've been pumping your intelligence. I'm going to pump your intelligence and your Dex? Sure, why not? Alright, let's go to your skills here. Your spells. I like searing. I like this. So, magical damage 1d1 plus 1, 1d2 plus 2, duration of spells 8. I, I want to pump that. <laughs> I really do. Uh, I like that a lot. It's nice to have a direct damage spell. Let's go level 3, 1d3 plus 3, so it just keeps going up and up and up. Alright, so those are all his points. I've spent everything. Wilhelm did not level up. She did level up. Let me go down to Elric here real quick. Uh, occult and intelligence. I'm going to pump all his occult because trying to get him where he can get into level three spells let's see if i did that yep finally here uh so i don't want to give him searing light morph into zana polymorph your body into a zana um unnatural capacity for arcane power so casting other polymorphic cells will end your spell but 
armor class, intelligence buff, occult buff, spell hit chance. So it, it it's a pre spellcastic buff. Like you buff yourself to pass to other stuff to cast other spells and then planar jump. I like this greater blood cocoon. Hatch a cocoon of purifying blood to be sprayed at your party, quickly healing wounds. This spell only heals once and must be recast to heal again. Hmm. I don't under I wanna give him this, because he's my buffer. Turn your enemies to stone. Amplify. Boost their attack speed and cast speed. I like I think I like Greater Blood Cocoon for him. And Turn to Stone. I think I like that a lot. Alright, Wilhelm. Roxandra. I've been bumping bumping her. I think I'm gonna bump her strength and dexterity. Making now that I've gotten her spell casting up somewhat and she's polymorph polymorphing, I'm wanting to focus a little bit on her uh, other abilities. Yeah, morph into fiend. She can do that. Polymorph into wolf. See, I'm at level five. Skill it. Wow. That just, man, that just, she just gets so nasty. I'm going to put one point into that. She gets so nasty with that polymorph into wolf. <clears throat> Let's see what else she can do here if she's just fighting. Uh, mind crack. Seismic swing. Staggering thrust. While polymorphed into a deadly wolf, hone your magically imbued claws to tear up flesh bone. Yeah, I'm just going to keep pumping that. That is just such a... I'm taking her total... Total wolvy berserk. That's the direction I'm taking her. Alright. I'm going to buff your... Strength, dear. Let's see what martial skills I want to give to you. This is to fortitude... You return, return attacks with increased damage. Let's go level three. Yeah, I'm going to give her a point of that. And what's this other stuff? Crippling ooze. By drawing upon that, nah, that's elixirs. Gain the initiative of combat starts by launching yourself to your immediate enemy and instantly attack them. This brazen assault also draws an enemy in an area. Wow, so that's going to... So she just jumps right in there and starts fighting. So this is a prayer for the... You can do a prayer for the party, kind of like a bless spell. What did I have? I've got that. I've got that. And then what else do I even have buffed up? Fortitude, any weapon. Yeah, it's helping her armor class, and this is helping rally. I, I think I will. Um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll keep boosting rally because that's helping everybody's armor class. All right, I think that's everybody. Let's see. I spin his points. Yep, spin everybody's points. Okay, thanks so much for watching the Shane Plays Let's Play series. Of Serpent and Staglands, when we return next time, we will be investigating Quorum, which is evidently a major city in the game. I've read about it. People mention it several times. You know, you pick up plot points and companions and this and that and the other. So, looking forward to learning more. Hopefully, Arlene really isn't dead, but it sounds like he is. Um, and we will continue trying to unfold the mysteries of the Staglands. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. 
on YouTube, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much.